Good morning, YouTube. I'm Gabby, and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com RVs with Gabby Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is RVs with Gabby. So excited to be here right now. We are at, at the FMCA rally convention in Perry, Georgia. It is the last day of the show. As you can see behind me, it's pretty quiet this morning and that's because it's pretty chilly here. It's about 42 degrees and I think everybody is staying warm inside their campers in the parking lot until it warms up a little bit. So I figured it would be a great time for me to go over this Aspire 40P behind me. This is huge. This is the only no non-tag diesel that they currently have in their lineup. They are coming out with the Anthem 37K. That should be out I think by the end of 23, beginning of 2024, but this floor plan is excellent. It's a bath and a half. It's going to have all the luxury features that you're looking for. Nothing too big um, and nothing that breaks the bank too much. So I think it's a really great layout and we hardly ever get one in at the store. So I wanted to take the time to show it to you. The, the most exciting thing is the interior decor. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. It is all linen cabinetry and some people love the white and some people don't really like it. So comment down below let me know what you think let's check it out okay i just used my nose to start the video because i have my gloves on and um it doesn't it doesn't read it on the sensor for the iphone screen all right so this is the exterior of the aspire 40p gorgeous coach the paint job on the aspire is beautiful you're gonna have three coats of clear over four color uh, all of the color schemes have four different colors um and it's gonna have uh, three coats of clear and it sickens full body paint which it will bend and flex with the fiberglass as you go down the road so you'll still have this beautiful shine on your coach for years to come the front you can see those beautiful c channel integra lights part of their new integra logo are those um, c channel lights now and you've got your chrome mirrors which are powered heated and this little guy up here is actually going to be the moisture sensor for your windshield wipers so i know some people were asking is that a mobile eye is that for my collision mitigation it is not on the aspire and anthem that's going to be your moisture sensor for the windshield wipers all right you've got gerard armless awnings on the side of the coach they are dual pitch gorgeous when they are out and they do have wind sensors on them in case it is fairly chilly or like today here is your entertainment center here you've got your jbl speakers and your smart tv and down in the bays check this out these are the new buttons to get into your storage bay now i okay so being that was locked up you're gonna come over to your um entry pad here and you're gonna type in your code and then you're gonna press and hold number two and that's gonna open up the bays these are awesome little buttons here super easy for the bay doors to open they are on on they open to the side not up or down which is excellent and you've got your fresh water tank right here moving along to the next door you're gonna have your slide out tray. So if you pull on that, that'll come out on either side of the coach. It has an 800 pound capacity and these bays are heated and carpeted. You can see part of their quietest riding, best handling coach on the market period package is the Spartan K2 chassis. Uh, the raised rail chassis and they also have these x braces that they put throughout their coach so this is going to help with the rigidity of your chassis and it's going to force your suspension to do the work so your house is not going to take that creaking and shaking from the road um, from anything on the road so those are excellent there's about 8 to 11 depending on the size of the coach i think there's less than 10 on this aspire 40p but anyway your gel house batteries are going to be located behind one of these panels in the center of the coach they are very low maintenance you have your go power solar controller and inverter switches right here and then your breakers for your jacks your house power battery link and compartments as i move down the line oops i pushed the button as I was closing it. Moving down the line, 
Next bay is just gonna be uh, nothing, just carpet here. You could probably hang some stuff with Velcro, maybe some skinnier items. On the rear, you've got the 295 Michelin tires. Should have 315s on the front. We'll go back around. Here is another little storage bay for you, pretty simple. And right here, next to the service bay is gonna be your def fill. Should be 10 gallons. And then your service bay here is really awesome. So this is gonna give you your batteries for your your chassis, your switches. This is where you can access your air filter and your um, fuel filter really easily. So your water and fuel separator filter and your air dryer filter. One of these is usually lodged underneath the wheel well in some other chassis. So really love that Spartan does that. While we're back here, actually, this button here is gonna be the engine door compartment. So if I push on this, I can't do it right now because the, you can see that the flagpole is right behind the coach, but that would lift that engine door so you could see into your engine compartment and access everything. Now check that out. That is Astrofoil back there. Even your engine compartment is insulated. Now they're gonna be the only company that triple insulates their front and rear cap. So if you put Hershey Kisses in the closet and you're in Arizona, keep in mind, you're gonna have to have your closet doors I mean, your uh, air conditioner's running. You can't just have them willy-nilly like that, like hot in Arizona. But if you had your ACs running in Arizona, your Hershey Kisses would stay Hershey Kisses. How many times have you gone in your coach, gone to your closet, and it is hotter than the rest of your coach or cooler than the rest of your coach? So in the Integras, they do triple insulate the caps. It's an excellent feature nobody really talks about. All right, side-mounted radiator. Your slats are going perpendicular to the ground. Uh, some other manufacturers do them parallel and the issue is what hot road is gonna have that hot air rising right up into your radiator. So that is not what you want. Slides are completely flush mount. This slide is cut from this sidewall. It's a hung wall construction. So you've got 16 on center aluminum studs with triple insulation, including um, pink batten insulation, astrofoil, and then they're gonna hang the fiberglass and clamp it down using Sikaflex to actually create the coach. It's similar to how they do airplanes, which is super awesome. So on the other side, you're pretty much gonna have similar storage up front. This bay right here is gonna be for your, this is your macerator hose right there pump and dump macerator hose. Your wet bay is pretty simple. You've got your water filter, your tank flushes, and then there is a city water hose that is on a hose reel. And right now you have the black tank flush on this one. And there is a place for that hose to sit underneath so that when that door is closed, you don't like you don't have to keep the door open when you're attached to water. The next bay is going to probably be everything that you everything on this side that I want to show you. Your Aquahot 400D system is a diesel file fired furnace, kind of like your boiler up north. It's gonna regulate the temperature of the coach a lot smoother. You're gonna have that heat. It's not gonna be like propane heat where it's um where it's so dry. And uh, the Aquahot, this is an all electric coach. It's also a four seasons coach. So you could take this in sub degrees in, our, in, in Alaska. Again, folks, don't try to do it and then shut the coach off. You wanna keep the heat running, but it is an all seasons coach. Your dirt devil's right there, your um, central vac. You've got a little sweep in the kitchen. I will show you that when we get inside. And then your surge guard and your power cord reel, which is awesome. Watched one of Angie's videos and she said, make sure you use a cloth when you're holding that reel as it's coming back in to clean it up. Now the Aspire line is gonna have manual shades for your windows. If you step up to the Anthem, those are gonna be power. Same thing for the, or, I'm sorry, the awnings on the outside and the, and the shades on the interior for the Aspire to the Anthem. Yep, see we got the 315s in the front, Michelin tires and you've got your fuel fill here. It is a 100 gallon fuel tank, 100 gallons for the fresh, 61 for the gray and 42 for the black, I'm pretty sure. I uh, have to double check that and I'll put it below. Last little bay is gonna be, I think this is a light for here, but your electric jacks, you can run those on the new um, center console or you can run them out here. You've also got your fuses and this is gonna be the handle you pull to release that generator so that it is on a tray that comes out the front of the coach. You should have a 10,000 watt diesel Cummins Onan generator up front. Um, this is running a Cummins 450 you can tow up to 15,000 pounds. So it's like a little rocket ship at 40 feet. It will definitely get you there and get you there fast. Let's check out the inside.
Okay, so I actually had to take a break and wait for everybody to be done with this coach because everybody was hanging out inside of it talking about f colors and designs. But this is your Aspire 40P. I will do a quick walk back and forth so you can see everything. This is your master bath. You have the washer dryer in here. You have one sink and your toilet there. And then your master bedroom. Look at that beautiful linen cabinetry. Okay, so what you have here is linen cabinets, linen uppers. Then you have, and now I forgot the name of it. Hold on, let me check the MSRP and I'll come right back and tell you the colors. So I was just looking at them. Okay, so the furniture, which is all leather, is called Shadow. This is the shadow color. And the floors are Tacoma shadow. By the way, the exterior paint was silver spruce. So that's for 2023. Linen, shadow, Tacoma shadow, and the exterior paint was silver spruce. So starting real quick up front with the Aspire, because I know that there's a couple customers popping in and I want to get through this. You've got this amazing new tripod system for your steering wheel. You've got your engine brake here. You've got controls for your radio and your phone and Bluetooth. But the biggest thing is going to be this center console. So huge 15 inch center screen. You've got four cameras on the Aspire. If you head on over to controls and you hit cameras, this is going to be the camera you can change and it's going to tell you in the upper right corner what direction you're looking at. So that is the right side of my coach. That is the left side of my coach. That is the front of my coach. And for those of you towing especially, that is the rear of my coach. So, okay, Gabby, that's pretty neat, but a lot of people have that. Now, note what's awesome is you hit screen view once, and it's going to take your GPS from this screen over to this screen, which is awesome. If you hit it a second time, it's going to take, the coach has to be on, that's why it's not working for me right now, but um, you take this camera and if you hit it twice it's going to move the cameras over to your center console and that console is adjustable so based on where your power seat is sitting and where your um, steering wheel is tilted you can also adjust that screen view for a better viewing angle so you've got the IMAX view of America with your 120 inch windshield your cab forward design up here in the Integra the new center console and then that screen view that's going to bring everything right over to you so you've got your transmission on the left Long gone are the days of all of the buttons here. They are now all on this tripod system or in your center console, which is amazing. I love that. So what else makes Integra the quietest riding best handling coach on the market, period? This tile floor is going to be the only one in the industry where you will find a tile that looks like this little square right here. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because they are the only brand that will lay their interior walls and cabinets in the wood floor because that floor is the thickest in the industry and it's wood it is almost five inches thick but they glue and screwed the wood to the wood floors because wood likes wood and wood is not a conductor of noise so they're going to do that and then residential tile around it just like you would in a quarter million half a million million dollar home so that is why you will never see a tile that looks like this cut not to the full length of the tile in a Integra only, you see, because they have to cut around that wood in a particular way. Now, why is that a big deal for you, Mr. Customer? Right, Gabby, what does that matter to me? Well, if you're cooking here and you drop a pot on the tiles, right, and a tile cracks, if you had any other brand, you would have to Dremel underneath that wall and kind of cut that tile out and try to get it replaced, and it's going to go underneath the wall. That'll never look the same again. With these, the tile is cut to it, so it's easy to take out and replace. But the biggest thing is going to be squeaking and creaking. If you're screwing through tile, eventually that's going to start shaking and moving and cracking, and it's also going to start rattling, and that's going to drive the driver, the passenger, everybody in the coach crazy as you're going down the road. So 
you have wood floors because wood is not a conductor of noise. Nothing's going to come up from the house. Minimal noise up through the house. You've got pink batten insulation in the floors. You've got astrofoil. You've got aqua hot. And then you've got your residential tile. So between those two, plus your Spartan chassis, your X bracing, and finally your hung wall construction with that pink batten insulation, that is what makes Integra the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market, period. Uh, so the layout of the 40P, right? Gabby, you're talking a lot about the construction. I wanna, I wanna see the layout. On the left, you're gonna have your pull-out sofa with your TV that is on a televator system. It's pretty nice that they've put um, storage up above there. And what's really nice is all of their cabinets are double strut. So there's not a single strut, they're very strong. All of this is solid hardwood. There is no wrapped, not even the styles, no wrapped wood in Integra's in their Aspire Anthem and Cornerstone lines. If you come sit across the way in these beautiful set of theater seats, which by the way, that is one of the few options you can change it out for a different piece of furniture if you'd like. But these theater seats are recliners and the neatest thing now for 20, I think they did this in 22 or 21, your TV lift is actually next to you in your chair. So gone are the days that you have to get up and go over to the other side to raise or lower that TV. You can be sitting right here in your recliner and open up that beautiful window and see that view to your campsite. Your kitchen area is pretty nice. You've got a dishwasher standard, convection microwave standard, and uh, I hope those, I hope the uh, heat pumps aren't blowing too loud for this video, but the uh, storage in the kitchen is phenomenal. Okay, you have a island pullout for more um, prep space, big sink with a pull faucet and induction cooktop. Again, all of these are standard. In some brands, you're gonna get a long list of um, optional equipment. Check out that spice rack, that's really nice. There's one on the other side too. Even some brands make this window optional in the kitchen. And this is pretty nice too, how far that window opens up for you when you're cooking for a nice um, ventilation when you're cooking inside your bus. All right, turning around here, you're gonna have your freestanding table and chairs. You've got two more chairs underneath in the storage compartment and this table is gonna pull out. I'd say that's about eight more inches, maybe 10 around there. Um, for your full freestanding dinette. You do have the option for a uh, booth dinette, but it is not a booth that goes all the way around. It's got like a left and a right to it with a countertop in the middle behind it. Balances are really nice on this. They're a nice, um, not too busy of a pattern. You've got your LG residential fridge, which is huge. You have your pantry here, which is really nice. Check out new for 2324. All of these pull out storage bins for pantries now is excellent and then your half bath right across the way let's not forget my um touch panel with all of my controls right i've got my aqua hot my fans you've got all your uh, electrical you have two 200 two 200 watt solar panels on board all of your lights there all of my controls for my three acs right my bays aqua hot and then my um, slide outs. So the slide outs on the um, Integras are gonna be all electric. The motors are interchangeable. They are full flush mounted slides. There's no flaps on those slides. And then your diagnostics on the last page. So yeah, that is excellent. You can download an app to your phone. You can control all this from there. This is a temperature sensor, by the way. People ask a lot, what is this thing on the wall? Why are they sporadically throughout the coach? If you look all the way in the right corner above the passenger, there's one over there too. That's just temperature sensors for your auto fans for your um, climate control. All right, porcelain toilet. Here you've got a window and some storage in here that's pretty nice. Now I'm getting toasty in this in this hat and this jacket in here with this um, heat pumps running. But you've got a Max Air vent fan. You have nice sink here and then storage down below. Let's see. There is a shelf there. So I don't know where you would squeeze a garbage can, maybe a really tiny one in that corner. But uh, really nice that they make as much storage as possible in this. This could probably be an another nice little medicine cabinet if you need. in the master bedroom. Oh, I do want to point out all of these doors have air locks. So when you put the coach in drive, the passenger entry door, it's going to suck it right up with that air system. It's going to suck up the pocket doors so that they're not rattling going down the road. Again, something that makes Integra the quietest riding best handling coach on the market today, period. You've got your residential fan. I guess a customer yesterday didn't realize that Integra does this as well, but fans in the bedroom and your king bed, which is awesome 
his and hers um, dressers on either side with all your drawers. You've got some little storage here, uh, countertop, and then you have your TV, which is at an angle towards you because that bed is not a tilt to bed, guys. And behind it is going to be your safe. Now, I'm going to finish up real quick. I see a customer eyeball on this coach from the outside. But in the rear bathroom, you have got a full hanging closet back here. Now, keep in mind, like I said earlier, that cap is triple insulated. Oh, look at that automatic light turn on. But that cap is triple insulated back there. So your closet should maintain the same temperature as your coach when you have that, that um, cooling or heating system running. Shower is really nice. Corner shower. It is radius shower. But you've got that nice teak wood seat there. You've got a little... Um, alcove for your uh, shampoos and conditioners and then you do have a shower miser on board it looks like you've got a hot water saving system on board which is really neat oh yeah increases your tank capacities up to 40 percent i have talked about this in previous videos so i won't go too much in detail check out my other content if you want to know more about that and another porcelain toilet and then you've got your master sink back here now this door used to really trip me up before i <laughs> before I knew about the diesels. I, I always used to pull this. We actually lost one at, or at the Orlando store because of it. But if you tug on this and slide it, there is your washer dryer. Now here's my real test. Customer yesterday was talking about somebody opening their washer dryer and it's at a weird angle where the toilet's in the way. That's pretty good. That will open all the way out. I kind of wish the door went this way, but I think if it went that way, you wouldn't be able to open it as wide. So with this one, that's the widest you can go. You can really get get in there and get your clothes out and then put them in the dryer up above. And these are Whirlpool washer dryers. I know some people are partial to the Splendid or Whirlpool. It's all gonna vary by how much space they have in this rear closet, guys. I had a customer the other day that needed the Splendid. She did not like the Whirlpool for whatever reason. And um, some of the models are just not made to fit those wider Splendid washer dryers. So they do what they can with what they can. And there's a reason for everything, right? So again, this is the 40P, excellent model if you're looking for a diesel with a 450 Cummins. The biggest thing I'm gonna say about Integra is their quality and their construction. I love selling this product because it's easy to sell. I, I stand behind the product. I've been to the factory. I've seen the way they've constructed these buses. And they are definitely all seasons coaches for full timing if that's what you're looking to do. And you're gonna get that quality and the ride and handling that you're looking for, as well as a beautiful interior and floor plan. So, so thank you so much for watching my content, guys. It's been great. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Aspire 40P. I'm thinking about putting out a video or two on my factory tour last week from Integra. We went through the paint factory, which was super cool to see. And then we actually did a tour of the actual Integra factory line where they build these buses. And it was so much fun and I took so many videos. So I think that'll be something that I put out soon for more information on that. So that when I do future floor plans of Integra, I don't spend too much time talking about the construction quality. All right, thank you so much for watching my channel and until next time, happy camping.